Narrative Pro 2.2 is going to be a huge step forward for those wanting to make high quality games in Unreal Engine 5. Let's show you what's coming in 2.2. The plugin now has native support for archery and we've included a demo bow to showcase it all. Our weapon artist JT has delivered a high quality bow and we've done a lot of animation work to ensure the bow works wonderfully in both third and true first person perspectives. The quiver will accurately display the correct number of arrows and we support varying ammo types. We've included three different arrow types in the demo content. Arrow types don't just change damage, they can completely change the entire behavior of the arrow, like this explosive arrow. Arrows can be retrieved after being fired and can also be retrieved from the inventory of slain enemies when looting. The amazing audio assets you're hearing are completely included with the plugin. Narrative's NPCs and archery work really well together. AI know to lead their shots in front of your player, and Narrative's utility AI can easily be used to make AI switch between attack styles. Watch how when the enemy can no longer reach me his melee score drops down, and he gets his bow out and starts using that instead. This is very easy to achieve with Narrative's utility AI system. We've added fragment support to items to give better flexibility, and one of the demo fragments we ship is the poisonable fragment. You'll be able to use poison on anything that is considered poisonable, such as a sword or bow arrows. Poisons can define additional effects to apply to the enemy on damaged. You can check out the weapon poison demo item to see how one is set up. We've completely reworked weapons to allow for dual wielding, meaning players can now dual wield daggers or have a sword and shield or dual wielded pistols, something that was more difficult to achieve in previous versions. The melee animation setup is finally being completed for 2.2 and we're proud to say that we support both third and true first person melee setups with the ability to switch between these camera styles at any time. We've created a bespoke set of animations for Narrative Pro so melee just works right away but swapping in your own animations is really easy and we'll have plenty of documentation along with the release to help you. VFX and audio will be included right out of the box. Melee weapons will also accurately trace against the geometry that you supply for them. We'll also be introducing a lock-on system for those who want it for melee, and this will be completely optional for those who don't require one. Our demo rifle and pistols now have high quality meshes created by our amazing weapon artist JT, and are much upgraded in 2.2, and we've really gone all out with the weapon animations, creating full pistol and rifle suits for third and first person, and we even have idle breaks in. Reloading will now drop a physical magazine on the ground as well. And 2.2 will also see beta support added for our new cover system that is completely procedural and works on a large variety of cover types. Cover traversing is supported along with peeking from cover, auto crouch, and more. We've added support for throwables and you can check out the demo frag grenade that we've added in the content demo as an example. Just make sure not to get too close. One of our biggest inspirations is Rockstar and how they seamlessly blend cinematic and gameplay moments together and for this reason we're continuing to invest into our cinematic tools and it's now really easy to nail that blend between cinematic and gameplay for example when a cutscene with an NPC begins or when an NPC being controlled by cinematics needs to blend out and start doing gameplay related behavior like shooting. Look how seamless that transition is between cinematic and gameplay you barely even notice it it kind of just looks like it was gameplay the whole time. But as you can see, this is actually a sequence. Everything is completely pre-baked and you need to be able to blend out of any part of that sequence and we let you do that. You can even do both at the same time, like if you wanted a pre-baked sequence to play on your character whilst blending and looking at the player as well, something that is obviously dynamic and cannot be pre-baked. In most frameworks, NPCs just stand around, but in AAA games, NPCs have idle sequences. They might be working the computer or working out and so on, and we've added support for this. Here, we're using it to have this NPC lean against this trash bin, which might not sound that complex, but of course, the NPC needs to be able to dynamically blend out of doing that if they need to do something else, and they need to be able to go back to doing that when done. So there is actually a lot of complexity that we're handling for you here. I think it becomes really obvious if I take the idle sequences off of these police officers, they just look very 
static and idle. And if you put idle sequences on them, now they really look like, you know, police officers loitering around doing their jobs. You know, they look realistic. Our amazing AI programmer Gareth, who you may know from the mass AI sample, has made huge progress on our pedestrian and traffic implementation because as crazy as it sounds, we really do want to see smaller studios one day be making GTA or cyberpunk level games. And to do that, we needed to roll out a solution that is much easier to use and handles Unreal Engine's complexity for you. We've been able to simulate hundreds of pedestrians and vehicles with really solid performance thanks to Epic's Mass AI here. And this vehicle demo map will come with the plugin so you can open it up and look around yourself. Hopefully with some art added in here, you can begin to see the vision. And this is really stock Narrative Pro with some art added. And we are approaching something in this video here that, you know, basically feels impossible for an indie studio to have made. That's exactly what we are pushing for here. Give you all of these gameplay elements and the tools for making quests and missions and dialogues so that you can really focus on doing that rather than you know rolling out these mechanics like carjacking and open worlds and driving. These are very complicated things and most indies just don't have the time to be able to, to roll these out. Vehicles now have ability system components and support having attributes like health and are able to activate abilities like this helicopter shooting missiles, as well as having more support for knocking over props and hitting characters and making them ragdoll. Much more to be done with vehicles and we'll keep pushing to improve them to that AAA standard we're trying to reach. So more to come in 2.3 with vehicles. 2.2 introduces support for first person rendering meaning your weapon no longer can stick into walls but we've taken this one step further. In your video settings we've added a first person weapon FOV slider that lets you adjust your weapon FOV independent of your camera's field of view. This means you can have a wide camera FOV but you can have the weapon be larger or smaller if you want. What's more we're doing some sneaky interpolation to ensure that the aim down sights FOV is always the same as you generally want weapon sights to be framed the same no matter what your camera FOV is. Finally, we're going to be adding support for Unreal Engine 5.7 and the 2.2 release, so look forward to seeing that as well. You all asked for more medieval styles of combat, and I hope with this update we can show you that we're trying to deliver on what you guys want. Now it's clear that the community also wants more documentation, more support. We want to show you that we can make that happen, and we're going to be working really hard on getting those gaps filled, as well as trying to hire more people in the community to help out alongside myself, because I'm just a little bit stretched thin, so... Yeah, if that sounds like you, please reach out via our support email. And thank you again for, for everyone's support. And yeah, we'll see you in 2.2.